Good morning. My name is Myron Franz, Commissioner of Minnesota Management and Budget. I'm joined here today to The state uh, constitution the requires Minnesota to have a balanced budget at the end of each two-year budget cycle. A balanced budget can be achieved with the assistance of budget forecasts, which help legislators and the governor to monitor revenues and expenditures and to make changes as necessary in order to keep the budget in balance. Minnesota's budget operates on a two-year cycle. In an odd-numbered year, we enact the entire budget. Um, the legislature spends a lot of time during an odd-numbered session just putting the, in, the initial budget in place. Um, then in the subsequent November and followed by February, uh, the budget forecast uh, uh, takes the temperature of the budget. Change, um, is there surplus? Is there a deficit? Of what is happening to the overall spending the trends and the, and the revenue trends? The, the budget is highly dependent upon revenue collections and spending uh, items that may adjust over time in response to the economy or other changes in the world. And um, as a result, the legislature and the governor have built into law a process whereby we look at the budget twice a year, once in November and once in February. Each forecast gives a snapshot of how the budget is doing. The forecast given in November serves a slightly different purpose than the one given in February. The November forecast serves a very important function. It provides the uh, revenue collections and the spending estimates uh, that inform the governor's budget, which is required in an odd-numbered year to be submitted to the legislature in the middle of January. Uh, the February forecast, by contrast, is informed by a lot better information, sales collections in um, in the Christmas holiday uh, season, um, as well as additional income tax data and additional spending data. So the February forecast provides uh, the numbers that the final budget is built on. Usually the governor will offer after the February this, forecast uh, some change yeah, items to his budget, some yeah, updates uh, to his budget, and then the legislature will build its recommendations, the Senate position and the House position on the February forecasts, which is a better set of data. While many variables are factored into a state budget forecast, most interest revolves around the amount of money coming into the state and the amount of money going out. Every forecast it aligns the revenues that are collected statewide for every fund and for every revenue item um, it, with the, all the spending that is baked into the, baked into the existing budget. What well, gets the most attention on the day that the forecast re is released by the Department of Management and Budget is the bottom line number. Are we, is, is the budget in surplus? Is the budget um, in negative territory? that gets the most attention. But really, a, a forecast is um, built up from the bottom. How much money is spent on each specific line item? Um, how much is spent on the K-12 general education formula allowance? How much is spent um, in the MA program? And this is done for uh, the general fund, but it is also done for all the funds throughout the state. Um, but members and the governor tend to focus a lot on the, the bottom line number, the surplus or deficit number, because that informs a lot about what the session will look like in the, in the upcoming year. So if there's a surplus, then theoretically the, the legislature has decisions to make about what to do with that surplus, reducing taxes, increasing spending. If the, the bottom line number it tends to be in negative territory, then the legislature and the governor have work to do about um, how do we bring the budget back into balance? Because at the end of the year, and, and the, the budget US has to be in balance. World, a budget so then takes effect at the beginning of the fiscal year, on July 1st. As revenue and spending trends fluctuate throughout the year, lawmakers may determine a supplemental budget is needed. Then the legislature comes together in the even-numbered year and tinkers with the budget, and I mean that in the best sense of the word. It creates a supplemental budget, either in the form of increased spending because there's a surplus or reduced taxes because there's a surplus, or if the economy has um, deteriorated somewhat and the budget has fallen out of balance. And we've taken that temperature and we now know that the, the budget is a little bit out of balance or a lot out of balance in a, in a bad economy. Then the legislature in the supplemental budget would adjust spending or maybe increase taxes to bring the budget back into balance. So it's an opportunity for the legislature to 
monitor the budget. Forecasts serve that function for policymakers, both the governor and the, the legislature. They can monitor the state of the budget through a forecast yeah, uh, and then act accordingly uh, with so policy for, solutions uh, for, uh, designed for, to uh, make sure that the budget uh, is, is, is in is play. It it's an opportunity for us to make sure that our health, our fiscal health in this case, is, is in good shape. And if it's not, then we can take action accordingly. And policymakers are tasked with that job. One other contributing factor in assessing Minnesota's fiscal health is the inclusion of national economic information into the forecast equation. An important component of the forecast is integrating the uh, Minnesota economy and the national economy and using that information to help inform the forecast itself. Uh, the state of Minnesota receives information from a national economic consulting firm. That information is provided to the Governor's Council of Economic Advisors who advise the state economist and uh, two other economists who work exclusively in the Department of Management and Budget on producing the revenue forecasts. One thing that's unique to Minnesota's budget and our forecasting process is that truly each forecast looks at about four years. Um, so we're not just looking at the current budget, but we're also taking the temperature of the subsequent budget. How do the changes in the current budget affect the subsequent budget? So if, we make, if a tax change is enacted in the current year, what is the, what the legislators often refer to as the tail? What is the cost of that change out into the subsequent years? The forecast is a formal process, a legal one, that provides information about the fiscal health of Minnesota's economy and its budget. It provides legislators and all the public with information about uh, how the budget is changing over time. It's an important process in state government because it allows legislators to respond and ensure that the overall budget is in balance at the conclusion of the two-year budget cycle. Learn more about the state budget forecast. Go to www.mn.gov mmb. Click on budget, then state budget overview.